Hello Craftaholics and welcome back to my studio and if this is your first time here it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Peggy and welcome to my studio and if you could take just a second to click on that red subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it. So moving on with craft, my Craftmas in July week today I'm using the large die of the month club from Spellbinders and at the time of recording this is still available for like two more days I believe. I will put links below. I'm using that, which it's, well, you can tell it's an adorable little stocking with all kinds of goodies. I'm also using, I had this hidden because of glare. Um, I'm also using the 3D embossing folder of the month. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me see, I actually have a black piece of paper in here so you can see it better, but let me take that out and just hold that up. Isn't that just stunning? I love it. I, I love it so much, but... That's what I'm going to be using today to make a card and a, oh, sorry, larger card than usual. Um, I'm going to be making a five by seven card, which I don't do very often. Um, I usually stick to a regular note card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. But we're going to do a five by seven. And like I said, I have a piece of white that I then boss with that gorgeous embossing folder. And a piece of red just for a little bit of matting, just a little bit of of oomph and I've already put together all the pieces because they're small <laughs> and it took me a long time but I will show you we have our little gingerbread man our stocking and there was another little piece to add on here but I don't know what happened to it it kind of disappeared so we have our stocking let me move this down so you can see everything um the word joy that comes with it I'm I will say it's, I like it. Um, I just wish the J was a little bit different, but it is still pretty. The candy cane and this each white piece was attached individually. Again, why did it all off camera? Our little gnome. And then we have our holly leaves and other, and with berries and whatnot. And aren't they adorable? But again, I do, because I have... I guess if you're new here, you know, I, I have problems with my hands. Um, I had a situation happen once. Here's the other greenery with berries. Um, and it's hard for me to do a lot of things. So it, instead of making it like a three hour video, I try to assemble a lot off camera. It just makes it easier for me and, and a lot quicker for you. Okay, let me put on my eyes. Now, I'm just using a, I don't know where that came from. I am just using a craft colored card base from Hobby Lobby. And just because I have them and it's a lot easier, but you can always cut down your own depending on what you prefer to do. But I had them, might as well use them, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to glue down my red piece. And that's just to kind of highlight just a little bit around this, this part. So let me get my glue, which I am using barely art glue. And when you're gluing things down, you don't need to put an exorbitant amount of glue. That's all I do. It's just a little bit. And it's a very fine tip that, that's on the bottle as well. You just want enough that's going to hold it. You don't need it to hold like for like two millennia. You just want it to hold. <laughs> so just use, and I guess it's like, it's a practice makes perfect kind of thing. Um, just use what you, you'll learn to know how much, to, how much glue to use. So you don't have like glue seepage and just, have lumps because a lot of times some of the glues will lump under your paper and then you can feel it okay so that that part is adhered now this i always construct my cards um panels off of the card you can do it either way but i do it this way because if i make a mistake it's easier for me to just redo a couple pieces than to have to redo everything so i do it that way and then i adhere it down so and I'm going to pop up our stocking on some foam tape. 
So I was thinking then we can have some things in the background, some in the foreground. It'll look a little more dimensional. So let me get some tape for him. Okay. And this, I just get this foam tape. It's really narrow. It's like a quarter inch wide. I just get this on Amazon. And I will look for it. And I will... I'm going to go into, okay, we'll go up to, there. I'm only taking it up to about mid of the top there, so I still have a little bit of room to put some things down in the stocking. But I will put a link to this, sorry, I'm <laughs> My brain, it's its early in the morning. Um, I, I will link this phone tape down below on Amazon for you. And most of the links below are affiliate link. Like when I link them below, they're affiliate links, which means I just make a tiny commission um, if you go through my link to purchase things. But it is of no cost to you at all. Like So, it, and it would really, really help me out if you would use my links, please, to shop through And this is just an EK Tools stylus with a, with a pointy tool on the end. I actually have the whole set. I'll show you real quick. It's actually a three, it's a three piece set of different size styluses. Okay. All right, let me, I didn't get the very end because I wasn't sure where they were gonna hit. So, okay, screw that down real quick. And glue this one down real quick. Okay. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right about there. Okay, that looks good. And it also, I know it's kind of hard to see, but with the foam tape, you also get a little lift here so that you get a little separation between the white and the white. I tried this with black and although I liked it, it was a bit too dark. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my word joy on my stocking. And again, what I should have done was put some, some adhesive on the back of this before I cut it out. I always think about that like after the fact. When I'm going great. I gotta glue it. <laughs> Darn! Should have, should have used some adhesive. Okay. There's our word joy. And that is something. If you wanted to give it some dimension, you could cut the word joy out a few times, and you can stack them. Um, it's not easy, but the result is gorgeous, and it gives you a little bit of dimension. Okay, and if you're squeaking, it is my chair. So, I was thinking we could put one of those down there. And maybe another one here. We could even now. Nah. All right, let's see. What I want. I definitely want this one here. But all I'm gonna do is just put a line of glue right down the center. There, just like that. And if you do that and you leave the leaves free, um, it just it gives them. A little more dimension so it gives a little more life to your card okay well it's still very securely anchored all right let's see we'll put that one there that's a cool look okay 
and again just right down the center there we go we can bring that in front in front of the little the little stocking hangy hangy thing how's that very technical term here okay and i'm thinking our gnome is probably gonna sit like right there so it's coming from the front so we're gonna put him in a little bit later let's see how should we do this guys guys and gals We may actually put our... That's cute there, isn't it? I just hit the table, sorry. All right, so I think what we're going to do... I think... Yeah. Okay, we're going to put our candy cane up there. And it can, I'm sticking it out of the, I know I'm sticking it out of the stocking, but our gnome is going to cover it, so it's fine. It'll be just fine. Okay, now our gnome, I'm going to put, just because part of him is going to be sitting like this, I'm only going to put the foam tape under like his hat because that part is not going to be on the front and I want it flush on the front of the stocking but I want it to be stuck up in the back that makes sense since it's sitting it's all this is already elevated so I'm just going to place our gnome And, you know, when you, with this, you don't have to use all the elements. You can just use whatever you would like. And you can even use your own word die, whatever you would like to do. That is completely up to you. I think we're going to put, he's cute out there. Should we have him kind of popping out this way? Hello. I like him here, actually. So that's what we're going to do. And, again, I'm going to put foam just kind of un under the parts that are going to stick out. But I'm wondering. Yeah. think just just a little bit on this leg should do it and if we need more we just add more after it's down okay alrighty how's everybody doing today um, I almost didn't make it on here to do this video because I've been I was having some technical problems with my computer so I couldn't get my computer my phone to hook up together because I have my computer sets right it's actually right over here on on the table I'm gonna put a little bit of glue under this part just like that and I there we go I need a little bit under his head a little bit of tape under his head. Um, I put the monitor on so I can see what I'm recording to make sure like I'm in frame and everything is looking good. And I couldn't connect it this morning. I actually had to, and, and it is Tuesday morning. Um, <laughs> I'm, geez Louise, just sit on the end of that. I don't know why I have such a hard time with that part. I'm just going to put this right under his head there. Okay. Looking cute so far. Um, 
but I had so I can it's easier for me to be able to see what's happening all right then let's see we've got these little pieces which we could probably stick one out like that that looks cute don't you think let's see so let me put the let me put the pin back in my glue my chair is really squeaking so if you hear it I apologize it is time for now. The back just broke the other day. So if I lean back, I'm like, I fall like right off the chair. It's not good. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. Put a little bit of greenery here and there. Hmm. Always lay your pieces out before you decide to go ahead and attach them. Uh, that way, if, if you end up not liking it, it's easier to move and change something around. Let's see. This one, I don't know if we want the little one or if we want... Oops to cut the big one down a little bit, put it under here. Let's maybe cut a little bit of him off, cut the stem off. I'm going to start chomping it down like leaf by leaf here. I can put it right under there. That looks good. And of course, now my glue. What, what is wrong with me today? What is wrong with this whole picture today? Goodness. The craft gods are against me today for some reason. Okay, there's that one. I don't know if I like that one sticking out of there or not. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Maybe one of a couple of these other smaller leaves? The holly. Hmm. Cut some of the stem off too. Anything like that? I think that looks good. This may be one of my quickest videos yet. You never know. Is that one that way? Looking good so far. I probably could have moved it down a little bit more because I didn't realize I would have so much white space down here. Honestly. Um... But to fix that, you can always add. A couple of holly leaves here and there if you wanted to. Let's see, maybe one of the bigger ones. That's a bit too big, I think, don't you? Yep, yeah, he's a little bit too big. See other one of these with the berries again. Now, 
<sighs> I thought this through. I didn't think it all the way through. So, I do like to... Sometimes I don't like to plan everything. So that we can, like, create something together. And I think I like that. Okay. I know what we're going to do. I've got some sticky gems. I really do want something down here, though. Just a little something. Do something like that. That looks cute. Just kind of tucked in there. I know I'm not talking very much. I'm sorry, guys. under there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, I've got some of these sticky gems. I'm going to use that one's a little too big. Put like a berry on that one. Okay. Now you can also go over all of these and you can use just the gems. Which I'm uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it might be a little too much. Which, you know, and I don't like this guy in here either, honestly. I know I keep moving things around and changing things, and I'm sorry. Oh, it's one of those days. Okay. But I am just going to stick some gems around. I wonder if that needs maybe another little something there. Maybe one of these little guys that I cut off. I hate being indecisive and I'm so sorry. Yeah, we'll put that there. You guys know I usually have it more together than this. There, that's cute. The only reason I did that is because I don't want to have that gem on this because none of the other ones do. Um, if I was going to put them on everything, it would be different. But I'm just going to put some gems around. A couple, you know, I'm going to use some different sizes. But I'm, I always start with my largest. And then I kind of fill in with the smaller sizes with wherever I want to put things. And there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just kind of filling in a little bit. And I mean, you don't have to. Um, but I was just trying to fill some of the blank spaces in a bit. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting them down. But you do want them to look nice. You don't want to just plop them. And a lot of times, things will look a lot better, like, more pleasing, jeez oh, Louise, more pleasing to the eye if you do, like, groups of three. That's, for some reason, that's a number that, even when I was in retail and when I was in marketing, it was always, like, groups of three. It's just a little hint there, or a little... What do you guys think? I like it. I think it's cute. Okay. So let me put those aside. I think that's enough. I don't want to overdo it on this at all. 
But I do think that we are going to pop this whole thing up though. So let me get some foam tape. And just kind of go all the way around. And I'm leaving some space between the tape and the end of my card, um, cardstock, so that you don't, you don't necessarily see the tape, because you don't really want to see the foam tape. Um, so I kind of inset it a little bit. And then I'm just going to put some strips in the middle, probably just three. Because you don't want your in, in the middle to sag. Which can happen after time. Or if it goes through the mail, it's a good possibility that it will get pushed in at some point. So. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Make sure that's all down. Ugh. Now here is somewhere where you can either take a glue stick and rub it over your foam tape or put a little bit of glue. It does help you get a little bit of wiggle room as you're putting it down. You don't have to. But sometimes when you're trying to line something up, it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm just putting just a thin bead of glue on each of it. It'll help it slide just a little bit in case I don't get it in the right position right away. This one just right to that. It wants to flop up. And then this is also when you can go back and you can add tape, some foam tape if you want to, to different pieces and whatnot. But there you have it. Now, on the inside, what I would do, I would probably take a piece of white card and cut out a, a shape to put inside the right on. But there you go. A beautiful little Christmas card made fairly simply um, and I will link the both of the of the month kits below and if you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and share it with a crafty friend and remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you tomorrow for the next video of Craftmas week bye guys <laughs>